Next question is from R. Hanks One. What are your go-to exercises for working the serratus? Oh yeah, one of the most neglected uh, muscles, I guess, of the upper body in terms of training and strengthening. You know, it's funny. In the '70s, Arnold popularized serratus training quite a bit. He mm. talks about a time one of the one of the very few contests he lost as a bodybuilder. He lost uh, one contest. I don't remember which one it was. If it was a Mister Universe to Frank Zane. <clears throat> And Frank Zane, for those people who don't know who he is, was this bodybuilder who was much smaller. So Arnold was the mass monster of his day. He was just a big, beefy bodybuilder, big arms, big chest, big back. And Zane was this much smaller, probably 60-pound lighter. Zane. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right, so. Dad jokes are getting great. <laughs> yeah. He was chiseled and lean. And one thing that Zane had over, over Arnold and why Arnold lost was Zane had this amazing – chiseled body and this incredible serratus muscle. The serratus muscle almost looks like abs that come up the sides of your body. Yeah, like uh, gills. Um, I think I call them their gills. Yeah, up, up underneath <laughs> yeah. The, the armpit area, yeah, right? I could see that, yeah. And Arnold looked and broke that down and was like, I'll never lose like that, you know, because of that again and started doing all these serratus exercises. In fact, if you go to, if you're, if you have his uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding, one of my favorite old school bodybuilding books, he, he writes about exercises specifically for the serratus. I don't remember what he recommends in there. What does he recommend? He does a he does a cable. Uh, he does this pullover right? crunch. Yeah, which yeah. kind of hits the serratus, but I'd, it's not really I'm a direct a, exercise. I'm a, I'm a side plank guy with this dude because I can take a side plank and get other benefits out of it too, like posture wise. Yeah. Like, I think I could take somebody on a side plank. You get some of those benefits. Plus, too, when we're talking about a muscle that's really really small like that that most people aren't even lean enough to yeah. see it. Yeah. It's kind of tough to put a, a well, lot of energy. Here's why I've never tried to isolate. Well, here's um, why it's important. I have. I when I was yeah. competing I was. That's well, how, yeah, I tell you that's why. Yeah. Honestly, that's the only time that I though I Cuz you want it to look good. Yeah. Because, and yeah. and I also know that I'm going to get down to 3% and it's going to be really yeah. shown. Otherwise, it's one of those muscles that you could probably directly train it all day long and not even tell a difference. No, again. but now here's what's important about it. It's extremely important for shoulder stability because it attaches mm. to the scapula, the shoulder blade, and it stabilizes it. And here's how you know when someone has a serratus problem. You watch them do a push-up and their shoulder blades wing out. You ever seen that? Yeah. yeah. Where they get that, the shoulder blade sticks out and it yeah. wings anytime yeah. they push against something. That's because their serratus is not stabilizing their shoulder blade. This is why I think the side plank is so beautiful for it. Side plank can help. I like uh, the dead stop push-ups where your arms stay your, your arms stay straight out, and what you're doing is you're letting the oh, shoulder blades come like back. Oh, it's a scapular push-up. Yes, yeah. a scapular push-up. Thank you. That's the name I was looking for. Yeah. That's I, a yeah, great I've exercise. Yeah, I've done those. Yeah, let, those, that's good to train just you know overall, like getting can better connected to your uh, scapula. That's hard for some people to yeah. do. Yeah, it is. And yeah. you can do them up against the wall to start, right? So start up against the wall and practice that. That scapular spread that kind of works the serratus. You know what, yeah. Doug? You should make a note so Danny does that because that's I don't I know we've never taught that on the uh, YouTube now, channel. Now here's a point. Here's an important point around this. Joe DeFranco did this post about this. I, this is one of the things I love about Joe is you could tell he's trained a lot of people because he th just the way he communicates things and he's like you know as lifters we're always focused on uh, bringing the shoulder blades back scapular retraction scapular retraction scapular retraction we never strengthen scapular protraction. Right. And part of the reason why we don't do that is people are walking around with protracted shoulder, you know, shoulder blades all the time. Yeah, we're trying to correct that issue. But we're not working the muscles that protract the shoulders, which can cause an imbalance. Mm -hmm. And so he talks about those scapular push-ups. Plus being most of the real functional lifts are with, in that rounded position where you're hugging something in front of you. So, so Absolutely. to that point, this is where uh, I remember when I changed the way I did a seated row. So for many years, I taught a seated row with clients because because so many people are in a very protracted forward shoulder position to sit upright and stay retracted the entire movement and never let the shoulder. Yeah. But you want to feel your serratus actually roll the I shoulders, the same, yeah. roll the shoulders and flare the lats and control it from there and then pull them all the way back and go into seated yeah. row. And you will feel that big time in there. Now, a great yeah. way to connect to your serratus because a lot of people have no idea what that muscle does or what it feels like. Practice a uh, a front lat spread. This is a bodybuilding uh, pose in bodybuilding. Bodybuilding, there's, there's specific poses that you have to do. The front lat spread for the listeners who don't know what I'm talking about. It's the one where the bodybuilders sexy though. They have their hands on their waist, yeah, and they bring their they they bring their chest up and their lats their wings come out. If you can practice that pose and connect to your scapula, your shoulder blades to spread them out, what you're activating. Is your serratus, and if you include that in the seated row move, which yeah. is what I'm talking about, yep. you will work it. You'll work it, and you'll feel it. Which is kind of what I do. Like that's how I train seated row now. Mm -hmm. Is I just make sure it incorporate it there. 
I wouldn't really target yeah, that's full it range of motion. You yeah, know? you're yeah. gonna. It's gonna get strong and and and, and definitely would be defined if I were to lean yeah. out. You would see it. A lot of people's shoulder problems have are not due to the 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 shoulder joint, the individual shoulder joint itself, or the humerus, the arm goes into the socket. A lot of people's shoulder joint uh, shoulder problems come from the other aspects of the shoulder joint, like the scapula, mm -hmm. the shoulder blade. And if your shoulder blade isn't, you know, I, I love doing this to to. To clients, it's hard to explain over the podcast, but I would have a client come in and I'd, I'd have them roll their shoulders as hard as they could. So they were kind of spreading their scapula. And then I'd say, now let's keep your shoulders rolled as far as you possibly can. Now let's see how straight you can get your arm up yeah, above your head. It stops. Yeah. And you can't. Yeah. It stops right there because any further, I need to be able to bring my shoulder blade back. Mm -hmm. And it was my way of communicating to them how important it was to, to get that shoulder position. Yeah, to get that mobility and the strength and the shoulder blade. So I definitely think... For those of you listening who've been working out for a long time, I think it's a good idea. You don't have to do go crazy, but do some of these uh, these these you scapular have, push ups. You should have control of it. Yes. That yeah. the, the 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 takeaway is that you should have control of that muscle. It's a very mm -hmm. important muscle, mm -hmm. and if you don't know how to train it, you've never felt it before. You can't control like a lat spread like that. It's an it's an exercise worth doing for that exact reason, and then you can find creative ways to actually incorporate it in yep. other movements. Yep. And you can get. I mean, if your pull ups hurt. If you do pull-ups and your shoulder hurts, if you do bench presses and your shoulder mm -hmm. hurts, or push-ups or overhead presses and your shoulder hurts, a lot of times it has to do with the scapula. A lot of times it has to do with that muscle right there.